Good day, student. I'm still Mr. Matthew. And the topic for today is formal geometry. Formal geometry. And these are the objectives. One, you should know the sum of that the sum of angle in the triangle is 180 degrees. Two, that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of the opposite interior angles. Three, that the sum of an n-sided convex polygon is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And lastly, that the sum of any exterior angles of a convex polygon is 360 degrees. Triangles and polygons. Now for theorems, number one, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. That's the first theorem. The second one, is the exterior angle of a triangle is equals to the sum of the opposite interior angles. And I explain them with this that in this diagram that angle A, first theorem, A1 plus B1 and uh, C is equals to 180 degrees. The second one, this, are, this is the exterior to so this triangle. So the exterior, A2 plus B2 is equals to the interior opposite angle. That's this and this, A1 and B2. Call exterior angle. Why for polygons? The sum of the interior angles of any n-sided convex polygon is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. The second one is the sum of the exterior angles of any convex polygon is 360 degrees. That means you are going like in a circle. And this is the diagram. Number one. It's number one here. These are the interior angle. This plus this plus this, the interior plus this, and so on and so forth. When you add them together, it will be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Why the second one? These are the exterior, the angle outside, x plus y plus z, and so on and so forth. When you add them together, you have 360 degrees, which is the second one. And this is an example. Example number one, that this A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. The sides A, B, and CD are produced to meet at X here, to meet as X here. Show that this triangle BDX has two equal angle. Triangle BDX has two equal, that means a Sussulus triangle. And this is what you are expected to know. I call this angle Y. Call one of them Y. The exterior here. Here is Y. This side will be Y. Call the other one Z. This side Z. X and Y are equal. All the exterior angles are equal. I divide 
to raise 60 by 5 because it is regular. Each exterior angle will be equal. So it will give me 72. So x, is, uh, y and z will be 72. We go back to that triangle again. I want to get this interior angle, this one, to get, in order to get this angle and this angle, to get this one. Since this is 72, to get this one that is small x, to get this one that is small x, I have to remove 72 degree, this to 72 degree, from 180, because sum of angle in the triangle is 180, I remove these two from it, and what I have is 36, so x is 36 degrees, because sum of angle in the triangle is 180, I remove these two from that and I have 36, so this angle is 36, this angle is 36 degrees. Why these two, they are 72. So I've gotten this angle now. It's not remaining for me to get these two. And I know that these two add up to 72. Because this one too is 72. These two will add up to this 72. Because this one too is 72. It's stereo angle. So in order for me to get, I will divide this 72 by, by 2. I will get 36. So this angle here is A, is equals to this to A, so it's 36 each, and this one is already 36, so it has two angles that are 36, so this is 36 too, so I have proved that, that it has two equal angles, 36 each, so it's an isosceles triangle, hence proved. Now I move over to another. In this figure below, number two, side BC, this side BC of the triangle is produced to D. Yes, you can see it's produced to D. The bisector of this angle here, of this angle, bisector of angle A is Meet this one at x. The bisector of angle ACD. ACD. Meet AB at x. So these two angles should be equal because it's a bisector. That's why this is z and z. So I should prove that this angle x is equals to half of this angle ABC minus angle A. I call this angle small a, call this one small b, call this one x, and then I call this one y. So with that, you should know that z, these two angles are equal, and that is equals to a plus b. So this is the proof. From the x inside that triangle, tri in triangle B X C Y is equals to Z. Okay. In triangle A in triangle X A C x is equals to 180 minus x minus, minus y minus z because we have sum of angle in the triangle is 180 so this is equation like equation 1 at a at point a at point a here point a here I have this it's one eight y equals to y angle y angle y here because angle on a straight line is one eighty. I'm making y the subject. I have this 
y equals to 180 minus minus a. Now in triangle ABC, triangle ABC, I now have z to be half of these two because z because 2z is equal to sum of a plus b which is the interior and this is the exterior angle two of this one will equals to the interior angle this is the exterior so by making z the subject i will have this one half of the two so z is equals to half into a plus b to a plus b so it's the same thing as this and similarly now because this is what i want to show x i will now put it in this equation one putting this two in equation one i will have this i will have this one then by making it i have this the subject because 180 will cancel 180 and when I remove half A from A, I will have half A, then I will have minus half B here. Then we know that this small x is the same thing as this angle, capital X. So, and this A, this small A is the same thing as angle B, A, C. Why for this B is the same thing as the angle, angle A. Hence proved. I move forward. I'm giving you this one as a as class workstroke assignment. Then I'm moving on to isosceles and equilateral triangles. So the theorem is you know that the base angle of an isosceles triangle, the base angles are always the same. This is the theorem. Essentially, equilateral triangle is also an isosceles triangle. It's a special isosceles. So this angle and this angle, they are the same. This is the perpendicular height. To bisect this angle into two, and they will be the same. Two, this angle will be 90. And this one will be 90. This is the perpendicular height. So you note that. Now example, so let's try angles. A, B, C, and A, B, D are drawn on opposite sides of a common base AB. If angle ABC, that's angle at B, is 70 degree, and angle at D is 118 degrees, we have to calculate angle ACB and angle CBD. And these are the solutions. Here will be 70 base angles. You see shortly, so here will be 40, 40 degree. So this angle is 40, angle A, C, B is 40. Here, since this place is 118, one, these two are the same. You minus, you minus 118 from 180, 1 from 180, 118, you have 2. And then remaining seven here, six. So the, these two we add up to, by the time you divide it by two, you have 31. So this angle is 31. And we are looking for the whole of this angle or this. They are the same. So it's going to be 70 plus. So the first one is 31. That is 40. The first one is 40. Why the second one is 70 plus 31? So hence, these are the solution. The first one is 40. Now the last one is 70 plus 31. These are the solutions. Giving you this one as a class of stroke assignment. Exercise 2C. Number 1 to number 20. In New General Mathematics, SS1, pages 36 to 38. Then I move over to parallelogram and related quadrilaterals. The theorem you need to know here. 
So the theorems are as follows. One, the opposite sides. In the pilogram, the opposite sides are equal. One. The opposite angles are equal. The diagonals bisect each other. These are the theorem you need to know. And many more. It are similar to this. You can see they are stated here. This side equal and parallel. This side is parallel to this side. And they are equal. Equal and parallel. Why this one is parallel and equal to this side? That's what I have one. The angle here, angle A, is the same thing as angle D, the opposite angle. Angle B is the same thing as, as angle C. And you should know that these are uh, alternate segments, uh, alternate uh, angles in that order. The same thing, these are alternate angles. The last one, you should know that AO from here to here is equal to here. Y from here, AC, you can see these two, meaning that this one is the, is the midpoint, dividing into two, two. Very important. And this is example. In figure below, A, B, C, D is such that A, B, C, D is a pilogram. This is a pylogram. A, B, A, B, C, D is a pylogram. And A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E is a square. M, D is theory. From here to here is theory. And uh, A, D. Here is 8.5. Calculate the perimeter of this entire shape. A, B, C, D, E. Now, since here is 3, here will be 3. This place will be 3. So here will become 6 cm. Since it's a square, here will be 6 cm. 6 cm. And this one is a pilogram. Therefore, here will be equals to here. And since here is 8.5, here too will be 8.5. So adding these things together, we have the, this will be 6 plus 6 plus 8.5 cm plus 6 plus 6. And hence, we have the solution. We move on. Giving you this one as a, Assignment 2, class works with assignment size 2e, number 1 to number 10 on New General Mathematics, pages 39 to 40. Now, I'm moving on to equal intercept theorem. Equal intercept theorem. You can see this is a pilogram. This is also a pilogram, pilogram. Since here is equal to here, then this side will be the same thing as this side. And this one too, it's parallel to that. It will be the same here and here. It will be the same as this side. So that's what the theorem says. Example is an example. We have to look for K. M N in these two figures below. In A, here is equals to this this place is equals to this. So we are looking for K here. Therefore K will be the same thing as 3.1 CN. Similarly, in the other shape, consider this is equals to this. Therefore M will be 2.5. If you check here, this side is sitting as this side. So n will equal to 3 cm. And hence, you have the solution you can see. Equal intercept theorem. K is 3.1.
because the other sides are the other two sides are the same. Then the same thing m is 2.5 y a is 3 cm. The same theorem. So I expect you to be able to do the, the this one as class workbook assignment. Exercise 2F number 1 to number 4. In New General Mathematics, page 41. So have a great day. Now I will see you shortly with another